Good morning. It is moving day or packing day today. Also, the kids shut. What's it now? Changing diapers and <laughs> and here you are. Why did Chippy shut the door on you? It was bright and early. It's like 7:30. I don't know if that's really bright and early. I think my time of day has been like warped. Also, I've not brushed my hair. But Banner is out getting a few more boxes for us and breakfast and then he'll come drop that off and then go pick up the U-Haul which I guess we all have to go because he has to get there. So maybe after we eat we'll all load up and go get the U-Haul and get our lives a little situated and then our lovely friends are going to come over and help us. That is the one pro of the military is like get your friends to help you move at least banner like we always help our friends load or unload and load up and it's just like everybody comes together and helps which is so awesome and so nice i'll show you like the state of our house this is why we're getting a few more boxes because we didn't have enough and just packing has been crazy um i'm in trip's room so you know that his closet is pretty pretty good honestly this is the room that we've kind of been Accumulate, accumulating everything so some stuff extra toys left out just like all the random little things that we haven't like had a chance to put in anything that's what these remaining boxes will be for to get a take down beds and banners home yay Wes you want to get breakfast I can't just leave you in here. All right, breakfast time. Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Did my little scanner thing work? Yeah. You did it? Yeah. Cool. Here you go, buddy. Come sit down. Um, can we sit at the mm. big table where I was watching? Say hello. Are you excited to get to work today? Very excited. Can I take this? He's been working for 30 days straight, so. <laughs> Another move. Here we come. Is that banner? Banner just pulled up. Oh my goodness. There it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here we go again. Good. What? No, I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know what you were giving me a thumbs up for. A little bit. Because you want it like in the center of the driveway? Thank you. I'm like kind of panicking. No, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun, but I'm still that scared. Let's put that in our... I don't know why. Yeah. Here is what our house looks like before we start moving. This is not what you want your house to look like as you're packing up the U-Haul. There's so much stuff that is not packed yet. And honestly, I really wasn't expecting this turnaround to be as fast as it was. I was hoping we could squeeze one more day with Banner being home to pack up these last few things. But with Banner going back to work, we really were on a short time crunch. That's why this day was really hectic and really exhausting. But we are so, so thankful for our friends for all of their help because we could not have done this literally without them like I probably would have had multiple mental breakdowns doing this just the two of us but for my military people watching we did do a full ditty so we got the u-haul we packed we loaded we did all of the things just on our own and I'm definitely not a packing expert whatsoever but I do have a few little things that I did when packing I tried to save as much as I could on packing materials so I had saved grocery bags throughout the past few months to use as packing paper I also would deconstruct like our snack boxes and use those as cushion in our plates and stuff and then also old wrapping paper from Christmas I used so just getting really thrifty with the packing situation and big contractor bags are also really awesome to throw pillows and bedding and clothes in for any clothes that we had in dressers we just left them in there and then if the dresser was too heavy to move I would just take the drawers out and then we move the base into the u-haul and then put the drawers back in to save on boxes and storage space and then we all had lunch in our front yard on all of this furniture all right it is 5 30 and this is what the house looks like we still have 
some stuff that we need to pack up. Oh my goodness. Um, and we did have to go get a second little trailer, which that was my original plan. I won't harp on that too much that I was right, guys. I was right. But um, we're gonna, Banner and I are gonna pack this tonight. Now we're just hanging out with some friends. We could not have done this without our friends. Like I really just like can't even thank them enough for how much of a help they've been. Good morning. The last thing I should be doing right now is vlogging. <laughs> but I have to do a quick little update before. Um, yeah, I love you. Anyway, <laughs> this is what our house looks like this morning. Just little random things left to pack up. I'm doing a load of laundry in the dryer right now. Just throw some stuff away and our lovely friends brought this all in this morning or brought this into the front room yesterday so we could like see what else we have left and we're gonna do that take out the trash and get on the road it's about nine o'clock banner already went to get more boxes and to get our keys made and our kids are just not having it this morning so that's fun and we also have to clean out the refrigerator so got lots to do and I probably won't pick up this camera until it's all done because we're stressed and we want to get to our new location. But Banner did get Starbucks too, love that. Do we need Drano? Moving really makes you realize how much unnecessary stuff you have shoved in the nooks and crannies of your house. So basically all that was left was that kind of stuff that like eh, you don't really need, but I guess we're just going to take it for weight in the U-Haul. So that's what we're packing up and it took us longer than we anticipated. So we ended up just getting all of our things out and then we paid someone to come in and clean the house after for the renters that are gonna be in here. It was just a lot easier for us to do it that way. If anyone was curious, it's not, not going well. This is, we're not prepared at all. All right, so we are gonna hit the road. Of course, I didn't switch out the camera battery and I have no idea where it is, so we're not gonna have a lot of footage of this adventure, but I've got Trip and Wes with me. Reagan is in the big, the big rig over there. I've got snacks and the house is empty and we are about to embark on a 10 hour road trip with like little to no prep and yeah, should be fun. It's gonna be a very long night. It's 12, it's noon right now. It's also very hot in here. Are you hot, Trippy? That's crazy. That's a semi that Banner is driving right now. And saying bye to our little house. I don't know if I should show you guys the front or not. I don't know, because somebody else is gonna rent it. Bye house, see you later house. Okay, stop number one on this 10 hour drive. I'm feeding the baby. I also need to go to the bathroom, but I can't get out here. Better still on the road, but I'll catch up to him very quickly. Um, and then we need to find a weigh station so that he can weigh the trailer with everything in it. That's about it. How's it going, Trip? He wants to go back to bed. I've had Pirate's Beauty and granola bars so far to eat. And it is 2 13. All right, Trip and I. Okay. Trip and I just stopped at McDonald's, got gas, went to the bathroom in McDonald's, and now we're going to do the drive through to get nugs and get back on the road because Banner and Reagan stopped without letting us know. So now we should end up being at the same like location time frame. So let's go get nugs. Let's get back in our seat and get nugs. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, you can do that. I just have to strap you in. Stay cool. Yeah. Boom. boom, boom. Yay! There's a sword. We have your green sword. No. No. No, Okay. I might put this on for Wes to play with. Think Wes would want to play with this? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. No, water. Okay, okay. No, water. Welcome back. I haven't had McDonald's in forever. I literally grew up as a McDonald's kid, and I think this is the first time trip is having McDonald's. Oh my god, these fries. Mommy, look. No. Okay, stop number Daddy three. Me. Me. Uh, yeah, do you see you in there? We are waiting on Banner and Reagan me. to meet us at this truck stop. He had a blowout, so he's in a new outfit, and he ate. 
And then when Mary gets here, Daddy. we're gonna go to the bathroom Daddy. and get an energy drink. Daddy. And Daddy. more diapers. Yeah. Daddy, me. We'll see you. Going good. Going strong. Mommy, mommy. Good morning, we are here. We made it and we are just leaving the Airbnb that Banner and his dad had been staying at while they were fixing the house. And we are about to head over to the new house. It's a big day and my camera's gonna die. So I might have to switch over to my phone, but we are exhausted. Almost there, of course. Almost there and exhausted. We still have to unload the U-Haul and do all those things, but. Only four hours of sleep. If that, like I don't even know what was going on. Cause the kids slept in the car, so they were like fine when we got here. I didn't want to go to bed right away, and that was yeah, a They were rough. like confused but, on why we were not staying away. Yeah, so that was great. But ready to hit the ground running and just keep looking at each other like, we're crazy, what is life? How are we doing this? And then in like a week, we'll be like, all right, we did it. Wow. We're here. I got a new camera battery. So I did a little thing on my phone just a second ago, but that's the U-Haul. I'm going to push you, buddy. And now let's do a little time lapse of unloading the trailer. This U-Haul was packed to the brim. We'd already unloaded the little trailer attached, but thankfully in the big U-Haul, nothing really shifted too much. We did have two chairs that were kind of messed up, but that's okay because that just means I get to get new ones. We did end up breaking our deep freezer. This was honestly so funny. The one thing we used a dolly for, which we could have literally moved on our own, it wasn't even that heavy. He thought I pushed it. I definitely did not push it and we were just not ready to start going down the ramp and we went down the ramp the wrong way with the dolly like he should have been at the top slowly leading it down not like the way we did it so that was unfortunate but other than that overall all of our stuff arrived in perfect condition which we are so thankful for but I definitely have a new appreciation for when the military moves us and movers in general move you because y'all packing is hard it takes a long time especially trying to do it by myself with three kids I just like did not have the organization that I probably could have had if the circumstances would have been different. So I definitely give more grace to the military movers, but also like don't put my lampshade in with my wine bottle rack, you know. I went ahead and set up the kids' playroom a little bit. I'm still working on it. We have the little kitchen in here. The seat. We've already made a big mess. But I am so excited. It's coming to life exactly how I thought. I'm gonna put the TV right there. I watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here? Having this room be one of the first rooms that we set up was really important to me so that the kids could be around familiarity with their toys and have a space to explore and this playroom turned out exactly how I had envisioned it and I'm so so thankful to have this space for the kids. They've already been enjoying it so much and I can't wait to decorate it more and get creative in here and it's just such a special area to have and I've seen them like play more in there play more independently with each other having this like dedicated space but I just kept telling Banner that I could not believe that this was our house and it is just so perfect and I'm so grateful and thankful to all the work that he did and I guess this was like a little sneak peek of what the house looks like but that's it for today's vlog I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one bye guys